Hello everyone, I'm Darcy Bono, and in this video we're going to look at creating this swampy, marshy, bog base look that you see here on the new Cruel Boys. Before we create the foundation of this base, I will be demonstrating this with two separate products that will essentially create the same look. I wanted to share with you my favorite basing company, Huge Miniatures. They have a dirt basing paste that I find absolutely phenomenal, and I'll explain why later as I apply it, but also wanted to show you how to do this with Sterling Battlemire. Um, as it's a citadel texture paint people may be more familiar with it but wanted to share huge minis with you as they're not as well known but certainly a brand i recommend having in your painting arsenal so let's start with my personal favorite huge minis dirt texture paste when you take the lid off you're going to see something that looks a lot like cake icing and it actually spreads very similarly to cake icing all you do is take either a spatula or a good old-fashioned butter knife like what you see here and just smooth it onto your base one of the reasons why I prefer this product to others is that it has a very fine grit to it, which makes it very malleable, meaning you can sculpt it and add texture to it however you like. I'm not doing anything specific here other than just smoothing it onto the base. And if you'd like to add a little bit of texture to your surface, you can always take the flat of your knife or your spatula and lightly pat it. That'll help pull it up just a little bit. Um, pretty much the world is your oyster after this. You can uh, put uh, little pools in it using the end of a brush or a toothpick like you see here. One thing I do caution, I, I prefer to do my bases before I put my miniatures on them. If you do this, make sure you leave room for their feet. Otherwise, they're gonna be kind of sitting up off the surface instead of sunk into it. So I'll just take a toothpick and kind of just lightly um, wipe out where I know the feet are going to be. And to be doubly sure you have the right placement, I honestly will just sink my model into the base and create a footprint for them so I know where they're going to be later. This will help them stick to the base a bit better as well as sink them into the environment, as I said, so they're not sitting up off the surface. You can spread it out with a little toothpick. Again, you can see how movable this is and how much you can shape it to however you wish. If you plan on putting in any tufts, which I will be doing later in this video, I recommend putting a little hole in the surface, again, so the grass looks like it's growing out of the ground rather than sitting on top of it. Uh, and again, that will also let it stick to the base a bit better. And from here, you can shape the shoreline however you want. I, I like this paste because it can create a very defined shoreline. So that'll give you a bit more depth and volume when you go to put your water in. It'll be a very uh, definitive line on where the water starts and the uh, ground begins. And that's honestly just personal taste. If you want to make it look like the ground is just kind of running into the swamp, you can certainly water your paste down at the edges and kind of uh, pull it a little bit that'll cause it to like kind of desaturate and then you can create a more like watery swamp look but for now I'm gonna do this more defined shoreline and now for the Citadel Sterling Battlemire version. Now, as you'll see, this has a very different uh, consistency to it. It's a lot grittier. I'm also going to be using the Citadel spatula spreader for this because I can't get a knife down into the pot very well, nor can I get a spatula. So I'm gonna be using that and you'll see right away that it is takes a little bit more doing to get it to, to spread nicely. You just kind of have to pat it around instead of doing one big swoop with it. One thing to keep in mind with Sterling Battlemire is that because it's a coarser grit, it will give a slightly kind of rockier look to your mud, uh, which you may or may not want. But one cool thing you can do with it is create the more faded looking shoreline that I mentioned earlier in this video. Using either an old brush or the edge of your spatula, like you see here, you can kind of pull the mud uh, downwards towards where there isn't any mud. And because the grit is so coarse, it'll leave kind of like little trails of debris behind, which makes it look like the ground is dissolving into the swampy water. And in theory, you could use both brands on the same base. You could uh, combine them to create a really natural look where you have a definitive shoreline on part of the base that dissolves into uh, a marshier area on the other. So regardless of what brand you chose for your base's foundation, the rest of this tutorial is going to be the same. And for the sake of not being redundant, I'm just gonna show you on the huge mini space. 
For this step, we're just going to use Nuln Oil Gloss, and all you're gonna do is apply a heavy shade coat to your dried base. Now, one word of caution, if you did do Sterling Battlemire, don't go quite as heavy as I'm going here. Sterling Battlemire does dry just a tint darker than the Huge Mini's Dirt Paste, but if you thin your Nuln Oil just a little bit and don't slather it on quite as heavy, it's gonna look almost identical to this. Once the shade coat is dried, you're then going to dry brush that surface with Steel Legion Drab. And I apologize for not bringing that paint pot up, uh, but this is a very simple step. Just dry brush the whole surface fairly thoroughly uh, to pick up on all the textures. And don't forget, if you over dry brush and things start looking too light, you can always tone it back down with another shade coat. You can either use Nuln Oil again or even Agrax Earth Shade. And now for the part that makes a swamp a swamp, we're going to be using Death World Forest as a base coat for where we intend our swampy water to go. And don't worry, this is going to look like absolutely nothing when you first apply it. Uh, we're gonna be adding a few glazes to it once it's completely dried to give it a much more uh, water-esque look than the <laughs> snot that you see here. Here's where the magic happens. We are going to be using Griff Charger Gray and mixing it with just the tiniest bit of contrast medium, just enough to make it flow. And we're going to be applying it over this mucousy death world forest. And right away, you'll be able to see this start to turn a much more murky green swamp water color. And just a heads up, this glaze will dry a little bit lighter than what you're seeing here, but you can always go back in after it's completely dried and apply a second coat if you do want to darken it a bit. Unfortunately, when paint dries, it loses its wet water surface look, so we're going to be restoring that using Citadel's Technical Art Coat. Now this is a gloss varnish that will give us that nice wet look again. Before you apply the gloss varnish, I do recommend thinning it with just a little bit of water or Lamian medium, just to reduce the brush strokes that could arise should you not thin your gloss varnish. So once it's thinned, you don't really have to worry about too much. Just run it back and forth over the water surface, and when it dries, it will dry looking shiny and wet like this. And for the finishing touch, we are going to be adding some grass tufts, also by Huge Miniatures. I've got the desert grass tufts here, as well as the more natural looking, muddy, overgrown grass tufts. I love these because they're all very like irregular shapes. And all you're going to do is put them in the little pre-made craters that we did earlier in this video. These tufts do have adhesive backs to them, so putting down super glue in the crater is not necessary. This is literally just picking it up with a pair of tweezers and pushing it on and kind of splaying it out a little bit. And finally, I'm just going to add the overgrown muddy tuft to the back here. Uh, it gives a little more color variation with two different tufts of grass, just a little bit more natural look to it. And with that, our swamp base is complete. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to be doing many more of these in the future, so make sure to subscribe. If you like what you've seen from Huge Miniatures products, be sure to check out the description of this video as there is a 10% off coupon code for your next order at hugeminis.com. So thank you very much for joining me today, and let me know what you think of the video in the comments. I always love reading them. And until we meet again, happy painting, everyone.